Professional athletes are supposed to simply play the game they love, try to win championships, and earn as much money as possible. They are also, in some ways, supposed to display model behavior since millions of fans look up to them. Unfortunately, some of these athletes many of us idolize turn out to be frauds, cheaters, and heinously enough, criminals. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we dive into the 10 most disgraceful people in sports history. And a big shout out to Anthony Serrano for suggesting this list. And we do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10. Pete Rose The 17-time All-Star and 3-time World Series champion is considered by some to be the greatest contact hitter of all time. After all, Rose's 4,256 hits are a record that will probably never be broken. But in 1989, Rose accepted a ban for life after gambling on baseball games during his tenure as a player and coach for the Cincinnati Reds. For years, Rose denied the allegations, and we all wanted to believe him, but he was only lying to us as we later found out. Shame on you, Pete. Number 9. Tanya Harding Harding was among the greatest figure skaters in not only America but the entire world. The only problem for her was that fellow Yankee and rival Nancy Kerrigan was just a bit better than her. Trying to get her main competitor out of the way, Harding conspired with her ex-husband and bodyguard to attack Kerrigan before the 1994 Winter Olympics. They hired a man who followed Kerrigan and hit her in the leg with a baton at the 1994 U.S. Figure Skating Championships. Kerrigan had to withdraw from the event, which Harding won. Tanya was eventually stripped of that title and the U.S. Figure Skating Association banned her for life. Number 8. Marion Jones one of the most impressive female athletes of her generation, track and field star Marion Jones went on a gold rush at the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney. She won a trio of gold medals and two bronzes. Well done, Marion. Oh, wait a minute. She tearfully came clean about taking steroids and apologized, saying she let her country and herself down. Jones was stripped of her Olympic medals, plus the other awards she had won at international tournaments. Number 7. 1919 Chicago White Sox We couldn't single out one player from the 1919 White Sox, so we just thought we'd include the eight players who disgraced America's pastime. You all know the story. The 1919 World Series featured the Chicago White Sox and the Cincinnati Reds, but gamblers were able to bribe eight Sox players into throwing the World Series. The biggest name of them all was shoeless Joe Jackson, who would have been in the Baseball Hall of Fame decades ago if he didn't partake in the scandal. This remains the most embarrassing moment in MLB history, thanks to the selfishness of eight ball players. Number 6. Alex Rodriguez Rodriguez will go down as one of the most dominant sluggers in MLB history. Let's be real. 696 career home runs, three American League MVPs, and a World Series championship aren't easy to ignore. But after years of suspicion, A-Rod finally came clean in 2009 that he had taken steroids during his three years with the Texas Rangers. And after being part of the Biogenesis baseball scandal, Rodriguez was suspended for the entire 2014 season. Will most of us remember him as a winner and a great hitter, or a disgraced cheater? We'll take the latter. Number 5. Ty Cobb A 12-time American League batting champion, many recognize Cobb as a top 5 player in baseball history. Hard to ignore that. But Cobb was also one of the worst people you could imagine. When his son failed at Princeton, Cobb came and beat him miserably with a whip. Cobb also allegedly attacked a handicapped fan who didn't have hands, then remarked, I don't care if he has no feet. Cobb also stabbed a watchman after he got into an argument with an elevator operator, and he even made the spikes on his cleat so sharp that if he slid, he'd inject pain into his opponents. Real good ball player, but a very disgraceful person. Number 4. Lance Armstrong Seven Tour de France titles spoke for itself. Lance Armstrong was a true American hero and the greatest road racing cyclist of his time. After surviving testicular cancer, Lance formed the Live Strong Foundation and became an inspiration to countless people across the world. In 2013, Armstrong came clean about doping during an interview with Oprah Winfrey. And that was it. Legacy damaged. A liar and a cheater, and we looked up to him all this time. A disgrace and a heartbreaking story for everyone who idolized Armstrong all those years. Number 3. Ray Carruth Carruth spent three years with the Carolina Panthers and had shown some flashes of being a quality wide receiver. But Carruth suddenly went from NFL player to evil murderer. In 1999, Carruth got a buddy to kill his pregnant girlfriend, Sharika Adams. Carruth blocked her vehicle so that his friend could drive by and shoot her. Adams was able to use her cell phone and call 911 to explain what happened. She would eventually die from her injuries, but doctors were thankfully able to save the baby. Carruth was given an 18-24 to 24 year prison sentence. When he gets out, he'll always be viewed as a killer and a disgraced athlete. Number 2. O.J. Simpson the Juice was one of the NFL's most dominant running backs of his era, winning the 1973 NFL MVP while leading the league and rushing four times. He was one of the first African-American athletes to truly succeed in the United States. 
and Simpson became an inspiration and larger-than-life personality. But all that changed during the infamous White Bronco chase in 1994. Simpson was wanted for the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Rod Goldman. Though Simpson got acquitted for the murders, he was ordered to pay $33.5 million in a civil trial to the victim's families. Many to this day still believe he was guilty of the crimes, though. Simpson cemented himself as a true criminal in 2007, when he and some friends were booked for armed robbery in Vegas. He received a 33-year prison sentence but was granted parole in 2017. A disgrace you are, Mr. Simpson. And number one, Aaron Hernandez. Hernandez was a star tight end for the New England Patriots from 2010 to 12. After constant run-ins with the law, Hernandez signed a new deal with his team and pledged that he was changed by the Patriot way. But it was all a lie. Hernandez was arrested and eventually convicted of killing friend Odin Lloyd in the summer of 2013. He was also on trial for a double murder in Boston but was acquitted of the charges. Hernandez committed suicide in prison on April 19, 2017. That was the final chapter in the life of this disgraced athlete. Who do you think is the most disgraceful person in sports history? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around on Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.